Now, for my people, before your 40th or 50th birthday, you, my crazy 20 people, I love y'all because your spirit is just outrageous. You are, you are just, you are energy and spirit unbridled. I love it. Okay. Listen, this is the time in your life. It, uh, it, it's discovery time. Experiment. Try things. Take chances. Roll the dice. Bust your ass to get it right now. Right now. Don't be waiting. Well, you know, when I turn 30, when I turn 35. No, 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 no. Listen to me good. You need to be grinding and you need to be grinding hard. Live hard too. Live good. Live fun. Get, have a magnificent run. But listen, in your 20s, your energy is out of control. All right? Your energy is the equivalent of kryptonite to Superman. You can bring the house down while you are in that phase and era of your life. I want to say era, yeah. That phase of your life, era. Use that unbridled, wild, beautiful, creative energy to set the stones in place that will ultimately create and establish your legacy for your wisdom days, for your fun days, all right? So that's why I was talking to the people who are over 40 or 50, okay? Because they, they, they're in their fun days. They're supposed to be in their fun days anyway, okay? You're supposed to be living at that point. But listen, in your 20s, experiment, create, love, Sometimes you're going to get your heart broken. Sometimes you're going to get your ass kicked. All right, that's fine. That's the time to do it. Get all of that out of the way. But in the same right, grind. Get your mind right. Get your spirit right. Get your love right. Understand who you are. Start to look in the mirror and just ask yourself, who are you? Who am I? Now listen, the answer may not come until you're 30 or 35. Or, or somewhere in there, but it's going to come. And when it does, you've asked yourself. And, you're, and, 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 and you kind of know, you kind of, when you're asking yourself about who you are, you're building the relationship with yourself. You don't settle either for mediocre. All right? You don't have to. You don't settle for mundane. Don't settle for complacency in your 20s, all right? And my 30-year-olds and my 60-year-olds, what about us? You too. Life, your entire life is a time of discovery. Your entire life is a building block. It is not a time to sit back on your hands. I don't give it care if you are 70 years old. Don't you sit back on your hands. Don't you settle for something that you know you're not supposed to be settling for. I don't care, quote unquote, how old you are. My mama is 82 years old. She's still a firecracker. We just got off the phone talking about her seventh great-grandchild. Seventh great-grandchild. And it was just like when we used to talk on the phone 15, 20 years ago. Same energy, same fire, same spark, same zest for life. That's what I'm talking about because she's living. It, it, it excited her beyond. She said, I, someone, someone it, it, before I got a chance to tell her that the baby was here, one of my cousins told her. And she said, I, I, was, I got off the phone and I was shaking and I was calling everybody trying to see. She is that enthusiastic, that energetic, 82 years old. Didn't matter. She was like, one of you going to talk to me today. Tell me what's going on with my, grand, my great grandbaby. And finally, she got in touch with me. And let me tell you something. Uh, uh, this is an old Southern term. We were hooping and hollering and acting as crazy as crazy can be. Want to know why? Because that is the energy that me and my mom live in. We just don't care. We don't care. We don't care about an opinion. We don't care about this. 
and we don't settle for complacency. The the very serious conversation. Well, yes, the baby was born, and the baby was seven pounds and eleven ounces, and yes, he's in the NICU, and yes, they're they're taking very good care of him, and what? Uh, no, you know what we were doing? We were proclamating. And that baby's strong, and woo, and th listen, that was that Ric Flair again. Woo, yeah, we were on our Ric Flair. All right. And that's what I'm talking about. We don't settle for main mundane. We don't settle for mediocre and neither do you. Your life is too important to do that. You are too important to humanity to do that. You are special. You are gifted. You are blessed. You are a gift. Shine in that, man. And listen, live the life you want to live. And if you are around people who are keeping you from living life that you want to live, Abandon ship. Go find the people who are like you, who are motivated and driven like you. And then slowly, you got to get rid of them, you know, completely, but slowly detach yourself from those people who are dragging you down. Slowly detach yourself from people who are complacent and they're just okay with whatever. You weren't put here to be average. You were put here to be great. Thank you so much for joining us and being a part of the Take the Sky inspirational vlog. It is truly an honor to have you with us as we journey into manifesting extraordinary lives, limitless existences, and as we become true rock stars. Rock meaning solid and strong and star meaning elevated illuminated and above the average. If you have not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so now. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you would like to get notifications as to when our new vlogs are posted, simply click the bell icon and you'll get a little ding, ding, ding. If you would like to purchase a copy of the Take the Sky book, you can do so by going to lulu.com. That is L-U-L-U dot -L -U com. Or you can go to barnesandnoble.com. Listen, I got to get out of here. It has been an absolute pleasure once again. I am your host, Ducato Vega. This is Take the Sky. Peace. And I'm out.